This 3D tour was made with the purpose of demonstrating how remote sensing helps us better understand water resources and specifically Idaho Snake River. Remote sensing imagery provides scientists new technology and tools to understand the development and change in rivers, lakes, springs, and other types of water bodies over time. The Snake River extends from Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming to the Columbia River in Washington. Along the way, the snake and his tributaries tumble over waterfalls, meander through deep and scenic canyons, and provide water for irrigating millions of acres of agricultural land. The snake also provides electricity and recreational opportunities to its users. This 3D tour was made using Google Earth and LiDAR data. Google Earth uses remote sensing images collected from satellites and airplanes to represent the Earth's surface. This imagery is also used for making digital elevation models or 3D models of the Earth's surface. One type of remote sensing imagery is LiDAR the acronym for Light Detection and Ranging. LiDAR technology uses a laser mounted on a tripod on the ground, an airplane, or a satellite. The round-trip travel time of the laser pulse, plus a global positioning system, or GPS, provides precise elevation information where the laser pulse hits the ground, vegetation, buildings, or other structures. LiDAR allows the reconstruction of the Earth's surface, including vegetation, to within 15 centimeters or less in the vertical direction. LiDAR data provides a more precise elevation model than what is shown in Google Earth. Join us on our 3D virtual tour of the Snake River as it journeys across southeastern Idaho. The tour will highlight features along the Snake River and its main tributaries. Our journey will begin at Palisades Reservoir and end near American Falls. The Palisades Reservoir is formed by the earth-filled Palisades Dam on the south fork of the Snake River. This 25 square mile reservoir provides irrigation, hydroelectric, flood control, and recreation opportunities for the public. This 3D fly-through in Swan Valley, just downstream of Palisades, was made with LiDAR data. LiDAR allows us to see the fine topographic details along the river, including the banks and the islands and bars in the river. 
The bumps in the bars are gravel or short vegetation, while the tall spikes along the river banks are shrubs and other vegetation. One can also see how steep the west side of the river is compared to the east side. The steepness of the left side is dominated by bedrock. When aerial imagery is laid on top of the LiDAR data, one can see the distribution of sand and gravel versus the vegetation on the bars. From the LiDAR data, we can learn about the potential for erosion of the riverbanks over time, or how the elevation gradient of the river is changing, or how vegetation shades the river for aquatic habitat and stream temperature. These observations are important to maintain pristine water quality and habitat in and along the Snake River. Downstream from Palisades and Swan Valley is Heise Hot Springs. Overlooking the South Fork of the Snake River, Heise has been a popular hot springs resort since 1898. Located just 15 miles west of Yellowstone National Park is Henry's Lake, one of the major sources of the Henry's Fork tributary of the Snake River. In addition to providing an important water resource for the snake, this high mountain lake is the kind of place fishermen dream about and is world renowned for its abundance of trophy sized brook trout and cutthroat rainbow hybrid trout. Big Springs is the second major source of the Henry's Fork, tributary to the Snake River. Producing 120 million gallons of water a day, it is one of the largest natural springs in the U.S. and supports enormous rainbow trout, which are protected from fishing. The rugged terrain just south of Big Springs is a dominant feature. Topographic information is important in understanding the evolution of the land surface because water plays a major role in changing the morphology over time. Upper and Lower Mesa Falls located on the Henry's Fork of the Snake, are two of the last undisturbed waterfalls in the west, plunging 114 feet and 85 feet respectively. Upper and Lower Mesa Falls are spectacular sites in the beautiful Caribou Targhee National Forest. The Henry's Fork carves its path southeast from Mesa Falls, past the town of Ashton, and through irrigated farmland. Also of interest just downstream of Heise Hot Springs are the Manan Buttes, two of the world's largest tuff cones. Rising nearly 800 feet above the surrounding plain, the Manan Buttes are remnants of the only volcanic eruptions within the continental United States to have occurred in fresh water. 3D imagery provides information about the growth and geologic morphology of the volcanic tuff cones. And because this type of cone is easily eroded, the imagery also implicates how they have changed by weathering processes over time. Thank you.
The focal point of Idaho Falls is the waterfalls, produced by a diversion dam that provides hydroelectric power. Though the original dam was built in 1909, the Idaho Falls hydroelectric project was begun in 1982 and consists of three power plants that produce 30 percent of the city's electricity. Leaving Idaho Falls, the Snake River winds south through farmland and lava flows in the vicinity of Blackfoot. The water boosts Idaho's agricultural economy as it flows and moistens the fertile volcanic soils of the Snake River Plain. Just west of Pocatello is the American Falls Reservoir. At 56,000 acres, it is the largest reservoir on the Snake River system. Though the reservoir was designed primarily as a water storage site for irrigation, it also provides hydroelectric, flood control, and recreational opportunities to its users. After leaving the American Falls Reservoir, the Snake River flows west to join the Columbia River. Remote sensing imagery can provide information about the Earth's surface that we typically don't see on the ground. For example, we can better understand how the Snake River and surrounding landscape interact. We may have a better appreciation of how the Snake River provides important water resources for a variety of uses. Remote sensing also brings awareness of the larger picture perspective that we might otherwise miss. Maps and brochures are available in the Visitor Center. This 3D tour was produced by Idaho State University Department of Geosciences with support from the NSF Idaho EPSCOR program and by the National Science Foundation under award number EPS 0814387.